another Adobe Illustrator quick tip by Fatfly Design. In this video, I'm going to give a brief demonstration of the width tool in Adobe Illustrator. Now, one problem of drawing all of your graphics in a software like Illustrator or any sort of digital drawing is that they look very mechanical or very computer generated. And sometimes you want your artwork to look a little more organic and a little more hand drawn. Now, I'm a big fan of, of hand-drawn artwork, so I do a lot of this type of work with pencil and pen on paper, scan that and run it through image trace or, or digitize it in some way. When you apply a stroke to a shape as I have here, it's just, it's so perfect. And sometimes you might want to vary the width a little. One way to do that is to use the width tool. And I can come down here, I've selected the object, and I can just come down here and click on this path and drag and I can make it wider or I can make it narrower so I can make it look like this path goes has some thick and thin I could put the thick part more towards one end by coming all the way down here or maybe out towards this end so it all depends on where you decide to click and drag you can even come in on multiple places so I could go thick and then bring it back really thin and really thin so it's just a way to get some much more organic type of shapes to your strokes and paths in Adobe Illustrator now if I look at it in outline mode the paths have not changed it's just I now have a variable width stroke applied to that path play around with the width tool and see what kind of results you can get thanks for watching this Illustrator quick tip I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. And if you get a chance, visit my website at fatflydesign.com.